Hey guys, this is Maji from Maji Toots. A quick tutorial about how to add sidebars to your WordPress website or blog posts. So let's say you just want to have a sidebar on a single page on your website and just nothing shows up. In general, this is very easy and all you need to do is you have to go inside the edit post settings here for your blog post. And then on the right side, you will have somewhere here a sidebar menu and there you will be able to choose your sidebar. So for, if, if, if we are talking about the fresh install of WordPress, here you probably only find the default sidebar. And to activate that, you would just choose it here and you would update the page and you will get that default sidebar. Just going to do that for a second. Also make sure that here for the screen options, if you can't see that sidebar menu down there, you should check the screen options here. Just a second, please. And make sure that sidebar here is enabled. That could be a reason why you can't see that. And then obviously you couldn't set the sidebar. And once you've done that, you're going to view post. And now you should have a nice looking sidebar, like I have my sidebar here. And um, just to let you know, in case uh, you don't know that already, uh, if you don't know where exactly you can customize your sidebars, that's usually in the widget section. So if I would like to add or delete contents here for that sidebar, I would simply go to appearance here then go to widgets and there you will see the default sidebar which is this one here in my case and I have those things inside of my default sidebar. To add new widgets I can simply choose one of those widgets here and can drag it inside of sidebar in the default sidebar and I will and then when I go back to the other page it will automatically be extended by the, those contents here. So if you would like to have a custom sidebar and not just the default sidebar then um, if you are lucky in your theme, uh, I have a theme for my theme shop and if I go to theme options here, this could look different for you if you have another theme, maybe it would be somewhere here, but somewhere you will have the options for your theme, you would need to make sure to find that. And there you can verify if you already have um, some built-in built functionality for um, custom sidebars. In my case, that's all already included in the theme, so I can just simply go to sidebars here and I have the op um, possibility to create custom sidebars from within my theme, which is nice and is a functionality that all the themes from my theme shop offer. I can highly recommend my theme shop, by the way, I only use themes from there for all my websites. Uh, I will put the link for my theme shop um, in the description of my video if you're interested in that. Um, if you don't have that, because many themes, they probably won't uh, give you that functionality. Uh, it's also nothing to worry about. You can simply go to plugins here on the left side and then go to add new and you can install a small plugin that will help you to create custom sidebars and that is also the name of that plugin it's just called custom sidebars and you can install this custom sidebars plugin right here uh, it has very good ratings has been installed over 200,000 times 200,000 active installations once you've installed that from that button here you will be able to go to um, 
to your widgets section again, appearance, widgets. And I don't have that installed at the moment, but if you do have, once you're in the widgets here, you will actually see that custom sidebar option somewhere around here. And you will be able to create as many custom sidebars as you want. Later on, if you would like to activate those custom sidebars for any of your posts, it's also very easy. You just go inside of a post or a page where you would like to set up that custom sidebar. Um, once your page is loaded, go to edit post. And there on the right side here in the sidebar option, you will actually have um, those custom sidebars should appear there. You can just simply choose them, choose one that you just created and you can update and the new sidebar should be there. And don't forget that um, to add contents and remove contents to those new sidebars, you would have to do that in appearance widgets where you should find your custom sidebars. So that, that's about it, about um, adding sidebars. Um, for the home page, usually um, a home page most of the time has a sidebar like the one I have here. And also in the theme options, uh, usually you get different layouts that you can choose from. Um, and most likely there you will find a layout that has no sidebar or maybe a sidebar on the left. And many of the modern themes, they will offer you plenty of um, different layout um, functions there. And also, you could also go to settings, reading, and you can change your home page. Um, you can choose a static page for your home page, for example. And like this, you could also, uh, for instance, remove um, the sidebar in by just choosing a static page. And then that for that static page, uh, you would go inside of the page and use that sidebar function on the right side and just choose no sidebar there. So like this, you could also simply remove um, the sidebar for a static home page. One thing to keep in mind is that on uh, mobile devices, like here, I'm in the Google Chrome inspector and I chose um, uh, the layout for iPhone 5, I can also choose iPhone 6, 7, 8, for example. One thing to keep in mind is that um, nowadays the traffic on many websites is about from is about 70% from, from mobile devices and there anyway you won't really have a sidebar because there is simply not enough space. However, what happens obviously is that the sidebar um, sometimes will be displayed here um, in the end of the post instead. So that's it. All the info you would ever need to create and add sidebars within WordPress. If you did indeed enjoy this video, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a nice day guys and hope to see you soon. Bye!